Did you know that you can use weather satellite imagery to see surface boundaries? You don't need surface obs to do it. Well, I recommend you combine all the tools. You can do it all via satellite. We're gonna take a look at a loop and we're gonna break it down right after this. Satellite can tell you a lot about the atmosphere, including where surface boundaries are. And it can also tell you if an area is unstable or more stable. We're going to break down all of that in this video. I'm excited. I love this series about satellite. I love what we're doing, and I can't wait to break it down. Here's the loop. You've been looking at it. Let's go in for a little bit of a closer look. So taking a look in this loop you can see a bunch of notable things happening right well here let me pause this uh, loop right here and we're going to start talking about some of these things let's get the annotation tool up so i can break this down well the first thing you're seeing right you're seeing this little thing right here i mean that's uh, the mo that's the first thing i see and but then you also see all this right here well, this right here, these are ongoing storms. This is an ongoing line of storms, pretty obvious. This back here is a trailing outflow boundary. And this, uh, you see right here, is actually a storm attempt. Now, you see as we go on, let's uh, continue this uh, loop here. Uh, let's bring it a few frames ahead so we can break down a couple other things. So now we're toward the end. Uh, and let's get this annotation tool back up. And you can see right here, that boundary continues right on back this way you see this storm right here these storms continue right here this is a line of storms uh this is the trailing outflow and you can see also there's some cumulus building right here and also down in this area there's cumulus building but also look at this what's going on right here there's stuff right there and then you just got all this cumulus I mean, just ev all every which way, right? So what you're seeing are a couple of different things. Now, you got to understand how the weather works in this region to really pick up on some of this. But the first thing you see is this right here is an ongoing complex of storms. And this, this complex of storms, as you loop it, you'll see it's going southeast. It's going kind of with... See how these, uh, these clouds are arranged in a line? They're kind of working along that. It's not by accident. That's how these things behave. Now, another thing you see, of course, is this trailing outflow boundary. And it kind of goes back up in here. Uh, so what's happening, you see all the time. Behind this boundary, there are north winds. And as you go out this way, those winds turn east. And you can see there's cumulus here. They're turning east. You got some cumulus right here. So what's happening is that this cold uh, and more stable air is pushing east. There's some warm and unstable air out here because you can see there's some moisture of some sort out here over the mountains. Um, so you can see that. And then trailing down here, what you see all the time this time of year, because this is in May, uh, you can see a trailing dry line going this way. So a couple of things that you can pick up on. I mean, you've already got a basic surface pattern ongoing right here. Uh, another thing that you can see, though, as you uh, move through here is there is a bit of a boundary uh, kind of shading back this way. That's a bit of a boundary. You can actually see a storm attempt on it. Uh, something that I find interesting is these storms, the anvil is going this way. You know, you can see it here too. Same. It's going that way. But here it's spreading this way. So what's going on there? What's happening? Uh, one thing that I think you're seeing is the jet stream is actually flowing this way, but also it's kind of rounding over because there's a lot of clear air here. I think what's happening is there's deep moisture flowing up into these storms and there's a lot less moisture out here, but that's because there's a bit of a high pressure center. Uh, working its way out here and that jet stream flow is working up and over right here. You can tell all that by satellite. Uh, and indeed, if you look at the map for this day, you can see that's exactly what was happening. Uh, there's not much uh, moisture out here, though. You see there's a discernible lack of clouds behind the dry line. Same for over here. Like there's just not much uh, there. You do see these cumulus building. I would venture to guess that the dew points here, 30, mid 30s, upper 40s, something like that. And another thing you can see on this map as we speak, you can see how 
you go from like storms to just blue sky, that means that atmosphere has been worked over by quite a bit. You can see kind of the billowing that we've talked about before. So in this loop, at least, you can kind of tell that where are you going to get storms today? Well, you're going to get storms in a couple of areas because of this. You're going to get them first. You're going to get a storm or two possibly off of this dry line. We'll see how those evolve. Uh, but you're going to get these storms right here are going to continue south and they're probably going to build back to the west. So when you're looking at these satellite loops like this, uh, you know, I think the thing that you need to keep in mind is when we when we break these down, you're seeing some common themes. You can see a lot going on with the atmosphere. Uh, this is going from the late morning into the early afternoon. A couple of things I would be looking for would be, does that boundary stall? Where does it stall? Because it's going to meet that dry line somewhere. There's obviously storms trying to go along that dry line. There's also storms trying to go down here in New Mexico. You can kind of see those right there too. So there is some moisture. It's, it's a fairly diffuse dry line, it looks like. All these things you can tell. You can see a little bit of cirrus down here. Cirrus, what, how do you get cirrus? You get lifting of dry air in the upper levels. There's some lift happening down there somewhere. So there's all kinds of stuff happening. Satellite lets you know all these things. All you got to do, combine satellite with models, surface ops, all those things, and you're going to go a long way. So here's another example. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, be sure to subscribe. Remember, weather's for everybody. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos on this playlist, and we'll see you next time.